Kato. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good morning everyone. Good morning sir. Okay, so how are you this morning? Are you happy? Are you healthy? Are you all right? I hope so. Okay, so this morning I'd like to continue our discussion last week in the classroom. It's about song lyric because it is written in the curriculum that a, an English language teacher should teach how to interpret a song lyric. And the most popular song teachers in my observation play in the classroom was Hildo. Okay. But I don't know about the um, pictures of the day. It was, that was the situation when I taught them two years ago, three years ago, when they came to our campus to continue their professional training by participating in the uh, PPG, right? So almost all of them used that song to teach um, song lyric to the students. And actually, what we expect from teaching song lyric is they understand that the song lyric is kind of poem. So before teaching a poem, a teacher should understand how to teach a poem, right? And last week we talk about a poem or poetry as an expression of the poet or the writer or the author. That's what we discussed last week. Now this morning I'd like you to try to read the poem. As I told you before, it's I uploaded this file this morning so there are three, three files uh, two files and one link okay the first is the song lyric in, in, in pdf format the second is the song in mp3 format and the third is the link youtube link of the video okay the video of the song of course, uh, the same song, Heal the World. Yeah. Well, I think um, why Heal the World? Because we said it is popular among English language teachers. The language of the sentences used in the poem is actually not too difficult for students to understand. Okay, that's why I chose this song lyric and the diction, the word choice is also reasonably um, understandable. Okay. So there is no reason to say it's so difficult for students to know. And in my experience, then um, Almost all the teachers uh, understand the song lyric very well. And when I asked them, then they told me their students also understood the song lyric very well. Even though, as I told you last week, that there was a kind of misleading activity in the teaching of song lyric in the classroom because the teachers I found two years ago, three years ago, taught the song as a song, not as a song lyric. So that's why this morning I I deliberately sent you two different media. One is MP3 and the second is video, okay? What I want you to do is read the song lyric, okay? Read the song lyric and then listen to the, to the song, MP3 song, and then listen 
and watch view the video okay it will take about 10 minutes right and then try to appreciate try to analyze appreciate in our class literary appreciation can be defined as analysis so appreciate here means analysis appreciate means analyze or when we take a high level of learning activity and then appreciate here means to criticize okay to criticize or to to study critically to find out what is important what is valuable and what is not important what is unvaluable from the song lyric that's to criticize not just to find out mistakes or errors in the song lyric but to find out also the advantages and disadvantages of the benefits and the costs of learning this song. That's to criticize, which is also a synonym of appreciate. Okay. Well, I'll, I'm going to give you about 10 to 15 minutes to learn the song. And after that, I'm going to ask you one by one to tell us what you have got from appreciating that song lyric. Okay? Now, time is yours to study with yourself for about 15 minutes. Okay? And I'm going to close my camera. If you have questions, you may raise your hand and just tell me the question. If um if possible then i'm going to answer the question right here okay so in the chat box i ask you whether you have downloaded the media i sent to you if not then download them and also try to watch the video you can also watch the video from other sources if you have already had your own recording then that is, that's fine so it's it's free for you to watch the video not from that link only but also from different links because that link is a recording of michael jackson's show in berlin so it's it's live show but if you have for example another video which you keep for example for yourself and you would see view it instead of watching the video link that i sent to you that's okay okay so it's now 7 46 then i'm going to ask you to tell us the results of your appreciation okay starting from eight right starting from eight i'm going to close my camera if you have questions don't hesitate to tell me your question
Okay, if you finished reading and reading the lyric and also listening to the song. Safir Rajam, if you finished reading the lyric, song lyric. Hello, Ajam. Yes, sir. Have you finished reading the song lyric? Um, not yet, sir. <laughs> what about the song? Have you listened to the song? Um, uh, about, I think in 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 Bahasa, sir, not in English. Uh, but I love music from. I forget the band, but mm. about the mom. So there, do you think that there is a translation version of that song in Bahasa Indonesia? Uh, if in English, I love the song uh, with title Mother. Mother, how are you today? Okay, Mother, how are you today? Okay. Indonesia, I love uh, music from Firsa Bisari, sir. That's usually use uh, poetry, okay. like uh, Waktu Yang Salah. Uh, menggunakan apa ya bahasa bahasa puisi gitu, sure. Mother, how are you today? Is much older Mother. than, than all, in the world. Yeah, yeah. Lagu itu lebih lebih kuno lagi. Yeah. Mother, how are you today? Itu lagu lama yeah. banget. Wait, yeah, why, do, why do you like that song? Uh, I think that the first is unique, maybe because karena sudah lama ya lagu lama sehingga instrumennya unik saya. Okay. Kemudian, uh, that's very famous, maybe. Hmm. I think, ya, yeah, terus isinya sih, uh, deep banget. Oke. Okay. Oke. Okay. That's great. Oke, okay, thank you, Ajeng. Um, yes, okay.
<clears throat> well, I have already sent the lyric and also the song, MP3 song, through our WhatsApp group. Mother, how are you today? The lyric is much simpler. It's simpler than Heal the World. Heal the World is a very long song, right? It's about 4.8 minutes or 5.3 minutes. It depends on the version you are listening to. But it's it belongs to long song, right? Um, Heal the World. But Mother Are You Today is short song, right? The genre, the music genre is different too. Heal the World belongs to pop songs, right? Popular song. And Mother Are You Today belongs to country song, country or jazz song. Okay, and but both songs are interesting to use in your teaching of English language to your students. Why? First, because the lyrics use simple sentences, right? simple sentences, and that's very, very easy for students to follow, to understand. The word choice or the diction is also very, very high in frequency of use. So the words, the vocabulary items in the songs are easily found in everyday life situations. That's, that's the reasons why the two songs can be used to teach that particular standard of competence. Students are able to interpret English lyrics, is English song lyrics, not Bahasa Indonesia song lyrics, right? Jadi kalau mengajar ya, lagunya jangan lagu Bahasa Indonesia ya, Ajang ya, tapi lagu Bahasa Inggris, because you are an English language teacher. Okay, Ajang. Okay, let's go to Lisna. Hello, Arin, Lisna. Yes, sir. Well, what do you think about Heal the World and Mother, how are you today? Uh, from the Heal the World, I think this song is talking about to making the world to be a better place. Okay. So, if we care enough and take care of the world, we can save so many people and we can see our child with their happy love so if we so if we taking care of the world we can live in this world with a better life with no fear and we don't need to cry anymore okay i think that's all sir that's all okay thank you what about mother how are you today It's an easy song to mother, how are you today? You're going to be mother, right? In the future. Married. Yes, yeah, sir. So what what does mother feel? How does mother feel if her child to children ask that question to her mother, how are you today? Are you happy or are you sad? Um, happy. happy because huh? I know my child care with me. Okay. So your child pays attention on your health, yeah, well being, yeah. prosperity, like your life. Okay. It's just very yeah. important, you know, to be taken care of by others, right? Especially your parents who with your children and so on and so forth. Right, thank you. Do you miss you Mao Mao? Are you here? No? Are you following me or are you outside there? No response. Reggie. Ko Reggie? Yes, sir. Your name is Yes sir. Uh, um, Ray Ray. 
Varinam Shrey. Okay, Shrey. Right. Okay. Okay. Sí. Um, what do you think about Build the World? What, what is your analysis? Uh, it is about uh, how someone lived their life with a pure heart okay. and positive, uh, what's that, character, okay. positive mind. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that our, what's that, uh, our existence can contribute uh, the positive things to the world, okay. uh, to my own world, and to the other around me. Okay. So what, what are you going to tell your students in the future, if you already a language teacher, English language teacher? What are you going to tell your students about the song? Okay. Say, for example, you use that song to teach your students. <coughs> What are you going to explain to them about the song? Uh, maybe I, I will, what's that? Uh, advise them mm -hmm. to not easily give up in life because mm -hmm. there is always so many, so many struggle, right? Mm -hmm. There is always so many problem. Of course, in the future we do not know, okay. but. Uh, always be strong and have positive thinking that we are we are here to live the life okay if we try yes. thank you sir yeah okay thank you ray ray okay ray, ray. well let's go to next students with aisha aisha are you with me aisha asnawati yes sir Okay, now tell us what you've got, what, what lessons you've got from the song, Heal the World. I think uh, this song, Heal the World, as the title of this song means healing the world mm -hmm. from other damage that need everyone's power. Okay. And I think Michael Jackson calls the world rise Mm, because he was very close to nervous issues, I think. Mm. Okay, um, what questions would you ask your students in the future if you use this song to teach them how to interpret some lyrics or poetry in English language? What question would you ask your students in the future after teaching the song lyric to them. Um, the melody of uh, Nahil the world is so beautiful, sir. Okay. Okay. Okay, thank you, Aisha. Let's go to Alfan. Alfanisia Tonita. Are you here? Alfanisia. Hello, Alphanit Alphanisia. It's a difficult name. Okay, she she is not here. Angreni Kunawati, are you here? Hello, Angreni. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Look at the screen, right? I've already um, shared a book page. The book is already also um, shared with you all. It's a continuation of the page that we discussed last week. So we are now discussing poetry as a response in the reader. So one of the aspects of teaching poetry to your students in the future is to get responses from your students after reading the poetry or the poem okay after reading a poem then as a teacher you must know what your students respond to the poem or the poetry well 
there are a number of questions right, that you can ask your students after reading the poem. For example, what personal response do your students have? Okay. Now, give us an example of such kind of question to to find out whether your students really understand the poem or not. Angreni. What question would you ask your students to test to find out whether your students really understand the song lyric or, or the poem well? Maybe uh, the first question about how about um, their feeling after read and or hear the poetry. Okay. Can you give us an example of the question? Okay, students. Okay. Say it. Okay, students. And uh, now I want to know how about your feeling after you read, after you hear about, uh, after you hear the this poetry like that. Yeah. Okay. So if the answer is not true, for example, it's not um, as you expect. Right? For example, you expect your student to be happy, but your student say, Mom, I'm sad. Okay? Okay? I'm sad. It's it's not the same as what you expect them to respond. You expect them to be happy, but they, they tell you that they are sad. What would you say? What would you comment the response, your student's comment, um, response? I think I will uh, ask ask them about um, their reason why they said okay. after reading the poetry. Okay. So let's, for example, say um, after listening or reading "Heal the World," what feeling? What kind of feeling do you expect your students have? Happiness. Sadness, empathy, sympathy, horror, <laughs> terror, or what? What kind of feelings would you expect your students to have after reading the lyric or listening to the song, Heal the World? Um, based on the poetry, uh, yes. I think I expect that they have a feeling like empathy or sad like that. Okay, so empathy, right? Empathy. Empathy is a feeling of um, a feeling of sharing, right? Sharing a feeling of togetherness with others who suffer, right? So if other people suffer from something, then you can feel the pain. You can feel this. The sorrow, the the hardship, the difficulties in facing that kind of situation. Even though you are not in that situation, but you feel the same feeling. That's empathy. Okay. Well, um, let's go to the next student, Anastasius Bria. Bria. Hi. Hello, Bria. Are you still here? Yes, sir. Good. Do you know the song, Heal the World? What does actually the song really want to say? Excuse me, sir. What does Heal the World, okay? What does the song Heal the World really want to tell us? Listeners, what is the the main idea of the song? Heal the world. All right, sir. Uh, according to my opinion, I think that uh, there is situation okay like feeling 
sad feeling mm -hmm. and it is like uh, motivation to advise or motivate motivate uh, the readers to be spirit to be strong i think that's the main idea sir be strong right okay okay now i'd like you to shirts in the internet what is the situation that the song tried to illustrate to portray because that song is a very very actual song and not like you to point out the background of the song or the situation the happening that really took place that time in the 1980s in Africa. So something terrible happened there in Africa. That's why that song was created. Now I'd like you to find out and to search for information about that kind of situation. Very, very um, dramatic situation for human beings in general. Azra, right? Azra, are you here with me? Azra Hakina. Yes, sir. Okay. So try to find out the situation. Okay. Behind Heal the World song. Have you found the situation? I think this song is about how we as human beings can make a better world which is full of love and full of care. In the lyrics of the first verse alone, Michael Jackson asserted that there is no more beautiful place than in our own hearts. If you try to search for the information in the internet, okay. Let me show you this from Wiki, right? From Wikipedia. second so i want you to look for mission about the background right? all the, the historical background by michael jackson and his team created the song. Okay. Have you found that information? Okay, here we are. The information is here already from Wiki, right? Wikipedia. This is the Information. The Heal the World is a song recorded by American recording artist Michael Jackson from his eighth studio album, Dangerous. So in 1991, Michael Jackson produced his album, number eight, and the name of the album is Dangerous. It was released on November 23, 1992, as the fourth, the fifth single from the album. It was written and composed by Jackson. So Jackson is a very productive composer and also singer. It was released on November and produced by Jackson and Bruce Whedon. This song steeped with anti-war lyrics and Jackson wish for humanity making the world a better place. 
Um, it is a, the occasions in which the song was performed. was also very, very famous. It ranked very top of the song and also the video. Okay. So he also uh, organized uh, foundation, Hill the World Foundation, especially designed to improve the lives of children. So the emphasis is the improvement of children's life. The organization also meant to teach children how to help others. The, the, this concept of betterment for all would become a center place for the dangerous world tour. So, um, that's the idea, okay? The background of the creation of the song, okay? Okay. Um, Kali. Kali, that's Tafani. Yes, sir. Can you tell us the other side of story behind that song? Heal the world. Mm. Maybe like the, the title tells about healing the world and maybe love for other human Enders have a lyric um, brighter than tomorrow. Okay. If if tomorrow is bright, maybe no one know what will happen tomorrow. It could be. There is day for tomorrow or not. In this lyric tells that life is much better by what people imagine. At all? Mm, yeah. It's okay. Let me show you this. This is uh, actually the the background, the actual background of the song. Right? So in nineteen eighties, itu di tahun delapan puluhan itu kan terjadi bencana laparan yang di Ethiopia. Okay, that's the picture. Can you see the picture? Yes. At the situation, children, old people suffer from 
suffered from food shortage. So it was very hard for them in Ethiopia to get food because of drought, kekeringan, berkepanjangan. Ikan jadi kering, berdebu dan panas. Ini yang menginspirasi lagu itu ya. The, the, this kind of situation is part of the song. And what concerned Jackson very much was children's situation. That, that you. Yang menjadi perhatian Michael Jackson adalah anak-anak ini. Masih pada anak yang sedang mengalami masalah ini. The, the, the caption of the picture says Ethiopia 1985 near a world face and feeding center in Sankar. People rise with the dawn after sleeping outside the all night. Bayangkan, mereka tidur di tahun terbuka. Ini ada di dekat bagian makanan. Hoping to find relief from the women that kept the country. Di kekeringan bencana laparan yang terjadi di Ethiopia, kemudian merembet ke negara-negara lain di Afrika. Ya tentu kalian belum lahir, belum itu, belum lahir. Tapi kalau belajar sejarah pasti akan ngerti. Nah ini kira-kira, this is what inspired Jackson to create that song. And he was very concerned about children's life. That's why In the song he wrote, right? he talks about children and better life in the future for the children. So in this picture, for example, the theory of famine marked a change not only in the disaster response from rising out of it, also came new collaborations and methods for detecting the environmental and Societal factors that lead to food insecurity, so future women can be avoided. Relief and development organizations like World Vision help families and communities to build their livelihoods, so they could better withstand future environmental shocks. So, and this um, video from BBC. So, besides drought, they also experienced conflict. Political conflict in Ethiopia, in Ethiopia. So, fraud and conflict were very, very severe at the time in Ethiopia. So, many children died for nothing. Okay. And this is what you have to do when you teach a poem, right? Okay. Jadi itu yang harus harus dilakukan seorang guru ya ketika dia menggunakan puisi ya, untuk belajar bahasa Inggris. So your your students do not only learn English language from the song lyric, but also from the information they are going to look for from different sources of information from the internet especially. Okay, jadi that's That's one of the advantages of learning literature. Yeah. Jadi begini saya sengaja menunjukkan bagaimana sebenarnya belajar sastra itu bisa mem- meningkatkan literasi kita, ya, pemahaman kita tentang kehidupan di dunia ini. Itu tidak hanya sebatas apa, sebatas di lirik lagunya. Ya. So do not just teach the song lyric. Word by word, line by line, because beyond that song lyric, there is life. There is human beings' life. That's why I chose this song because this song is good, right? Representing life as it is written here in this book. Poetry represents life. Okay. 
within the world. The poem is a representation of life. Poem is a representation of life. So song lyric, a good song lyric, is a poem, right? A good song lyric is a poem. And a poem can be used to see how life is going on or how the song lyric represents life and as i told you before hill the world represents how life looked like in the 1980s and that inspired michael jackson very much so in 1991 he wrote the song under the title hill the world okay and in 1992, the song was produced in an album, Dangerous, the song album, Dangerous. And the song put its very successful achievement in the in the international um, song chart. Right? The video was also very successful. The video of the song for this successful. So besides what students feel about the poem, the contents of the poem, you also teach them the background, the historical background, okay? The societal background, the social background, the uh, sociological background, political background, everything. And information is there in the internet. Just um, search information and you would find out the information about that song. Okay, so by learning a poem, okay, you can open a wider perspective of life history, right? What people suffered from in 1990s in 1980s so ethiopia was very it's a, a good example in history especially in the 1980s 1990s right? because the nation the country was not was not united well there was a conflict between uh, opposing parties military uh, military soldiers also divided and they fought each other and you know after, in a war the first victims were children in any wars the first victims were children so children became the first victims in any war let's say now for example in the case of russia and ukraine okay russia and ukraine the victims helpless victims were children in palestine the same thing children were helpless victims of the war well that's why jackson michael jackson uh, took this theme uh, the historical suffering as the main theme of his song heal the world so it, it, it did not just feel sad about the situation, but he tried to, to organize uh, international support to cope with the situation in Ethiopia at the time. So he, why? Because he wanted future life is better. He wanted children to have better life in the future. So um, that's what you should do in teaching a poem, right? Um, Muhammad Haikal. Muhammad Haikal. Hello, Muhammad Haikal. Are you still here? No response? Well, good to... Rehan Ramadani, are you still here? Muhammad Rehan? Yes, sir. Okay, what, what do you think about after 
meeting the historical background of it? Uh, um, apa ya? Itu after I read uh, the historical background, yeah, like uh, it's a it's kind of like a worried worried situation uh, uh, okay. okay uh let me ask you a question um do you now understand how to teach uh poem to your students in the future or are you still confused about how to teach a poem a song lyric to your students in the future. Tehan, sekarang sudah lebih jelas lagi bagaimana cara mengajarkan um, puisi setelah ya tentu tahap pertama guru kan harus dia memahami dulu ya dia mengapresiasi dulu karya sastra itu apakah itu kontennya puisi atau ini kita fokus ke puisi dulu ya nanti setelah ini kita akan fokus ke uh, fiksi ke fiksi karena itu baru drama. Nah, syaratnya guru yang bisa mengajar puisi dan baik itu adalah guru yang telah a teacher who has already understood appreciated the poetry very well that's the most important requirement for teaching uh, poem or poetry successfully jadi syarat utama dalam mengajarkan puisi dan berhasil itu ya pertama gurunya harus memahami itu puisi itu dengan baik atau memiliki apresiasi yang tinggi terhadap lagu atau karya puisi itu so do not teach a poem or poetry if you have not understood the poetry or the poem very well okay what is the meaning of understanding a poem or poetry very well first as it is written in this book ya, seperti yang ditulis buku ini first you must be able to explain your feelings about the poetry or the poem. Yang pertama harus ngerti what kind of feeling do you get, do you respond to the poetry or the poem. Yang pertama itu ya, harus ngerti dulu perasaannya bagaimana sih setelah membaca ini. Seneng? Are you happy? Are you sad? Are you empathetic? Are you sympathetic? Are you terrorized? Bisa aja kan orang baca puisi lalu merasa tertekan gitu ya. Are you under very great pressure? Are you um, stressed? No matter how you feel about the poem, just express it. Jadi apapun yang anda apa yang kita rasakan tentang puisi itu, udah kemukakan aja, katakan aja. The same thing should also happen to your students in the future. Do not let them read a poem without getting any feeling. Yeah. Why? Because poetry is created for feeling, for developing, of course, humanistic feeling. Yeah. The poesy diciptakan memang untuk mengembangkan perasaan-perasaan yang sifatnya humanistik. Meaning if people are sad and it is written in the poetry, then you must also feel sad. So do not, let's say, I do not feel anything about that poem. Even though the poem is good, it's not a good appreciation. Ya, poesinya bagus, tapi saya nggak merasakan apa-apa, nggak ada perubahan perasaan apa-apa gitu. Nah itu namanya you have no appreciation feeling, ya. tidak punya rasa apresiasi. Mengapresiasi itu artinya tidak hanya um, di kognitif ya, di pengetahuan, tapi more important place in your um, feeling, in your effective domain, di, 
di ranah afektif ya. di ranah di batinnya ya di karena memang sastra itu bergeraknya di di situ ya. efektif domain what to feel what people what other people feel or empathy or you develop a sense of um, urgency in helping others or sympathy ya, seperti itu that's what you must feel after reading a poem or poetry the same thing also happens to your students you expect to happen to your students jadi kalau gurunya ketika dia membaca puisi itu merasa tergugah empatinya mestinya the same feeling should also happen to your students So, um, do not let your students feel differently from you, right? Because if you are sad or you are empathetic about one poem, but your students are happy about the same poem, then your teaching is a failure. Yeah. Jadi kalau misalnya guru sudah membaca puisi itu, dia memahami wah ini puisi bagus ini sangat Simpatik banget, gitu ya. um, song lyric heal the world itu sangat simpatik banget. Bagaimana Michael Jackson yang hidup terkenal dia sangat kaya hidup di negara yang sangat maju, hampir tidak ada kekurangan apapun dia. Ya. Tapi dia merasakan penderitaan anak Ethiopia waktu itu sedang dilanda konflik militer bukan hanya politik ya konflik militer karena di sana terjadi perang saudara. dan kekeringan yang kemudian melahirkan kelaparan kelaparan dalam skala yang besar tidak kelaparan satu dua orang tapi kelaparan hampir semua orang di sana terutama anak-anak kecil ya di daerah-daerah yang menjadi arena pertempuran dalam perang saudara itu that second of feeling empathetic feeling is what you need to teach your students when you use this song lyric as material for their learning activities. Yeah. Jadi minimal ada satu ya, satu respons yang harus dimunculkan oleh siswa ketika kita mengajarkan sebuah lagu. Yeah. But this kind of message would not be delivered Well, if the teacher does not understand the poem well, too. Yeah. Jadi pesan ini gak akan nyampe kalau gurunya gak ngerti juga. Yeah. Jadi gak ngerti misalnya hanya sebatas kata-kata yang ada dalam lagu itu. If you understand is limited to what the poetry contains, then the response would be also limited to the vocabulary items in the song or in the poetry. So how can you enlarge? How can you develop your students' perspective of life? By opening the background information of the song. Udah harus ngerti latar belakang sejarahnya kayak apa gitu, lagu itu tercipta. Ya. Karena lagu-lagu seperti Hello World ini bukan, bukan, it is true that this song is a personal expression of the author. Ya. Itu lagu itu ekspresi pribadi Michael Jackson. Ya. Sebagai seorang komposer, penulis lagu. Jadi Michael Jackson itu bukan hanya penyanyi, tapi dia juga penulis lagu. Bahkan dia produser juga. Jadi dia orang hebat. Nah, sebagai seorang penulis lagu, dia seorang penulis author, ya, seorang poet, seorang penyair. He was a poet, he was a composer. And he did not just write his songs as other people did in the in the time, in the year. 
He was very selective in using words. Ini boleh diteliti nanti ya. Bagaimana Michael Jackson itu sangat-sangat selektif memilih kata-kata dalam lagu-lagunya. Beda dengan penulis-penulis lagu pada zaman itu. Itu yang kemudian membuat kenapa lagu-lagu Michael Jackson mudah diterima. Bahkan di negara-negara seperti Indonesia. Ya. Lalu dia mendapatkan julukan apa? King of Pop Songs. Ya. Rajanya lagu-lagu pop. Seperti itu. Oke. Okay. That's personal expression, that's true. Ya, minggu kemarin kita kan bicara puisi sebagai ungkapan pribadi seorang penulis, seorang penyair. Today we are talking about the response of the audience, especially your students in the future. And also a poem as a representation of life. Ya, ini yang paling penting, this is more important. To widen your students' perspective, knowledge about life. Behind the song lyric, yeah, and this is what I did not find when I did EPG two or three years ago. Ini tidak saya temukan ya dalam apa praktek pembelajaran ini dalam oleh guru-guru yang ikut EPG dua tiga tahun yang lalu. Mereka mengajarkan lagu ini tapi tidak membuka cakral pengetahuan anak-anak. Bahwa lagu ini ada latar belakangnya ada Penderitaan yang ingin digambarkan kenapa Michael Jackson kemudian ingin apa, membantu dunia untuk menciptakan masa depan yang lebih baik untuk anak-anak. Nah, in that case, I, I was very, very sad. Sedih saya melihat guru-guru yang, ya, yang, yang belum mampu membuka cakrawala lainnya. Dan mudah-mudahan dengan dengan referensi yang saya pakai ini dan juga beberapa um, fakta-fakta sejarah itu, ini bisa membuka cakrawala mahasiswa ini sehingga nanti kalau menjadi guru akan lebih baik dari guru-guru yang saya yang saya ceritakan tadi oke okay. any question so far? ada pertanyaan? Well, next week we, I think, I'm going to continue with another genre of literature. In the pan, there can be pindaka uh, genre, yeah, fiction, fiction. You see. So, uh, Nah, kita anggap selesai artinya pembahasannya ya. nah tinggal nanti um, bagaimana kelompok yang sudah kalian bikin ini melakukannya di sekolah ya bagaimana poetry reading di sekolah jadi pertama mesti dijelaskan dulu ya dijelaskan dulu ya jelaskan dulu puisi itu boleh memakai in the world supaya anak-anak ketika mereka membaca puisi mereka they could improvise they could um, they could express what they feel about the song lyrics or the poem in a proportional way jadi jangan sampai mereka baca puisi tapi tidak tidak memahami artinya, tidak bisa mengayati. Nah kalau seperti itu ya nanti putri ringnya jadi menjadi kering gitu. Menjadi kering. Oke. Okay. Yep. I sent you a, a short novel. Untuk minggu depan ya kita mulai bahas The Old Man and the Sea Ernest Hemingway. Tapi kalau kalian punya novel atau kita yang bagus fiksi ya short story boleh juga nanti di share di grup ya silakan apa apa di share di grup yang nanti bisa semuanya membahas ya 
Jadi setelah ini kita akan mencoba melihat how you appreciate fiction. How you appreciate fiction. How to use fiction in your um, teaching activities. Now fiction has something to do with storytelling. Yes, storytelling. If your group plans to perform storytelling instead of put reviewing, that's okay. But first of all, you must understand how to under how to um, how to get the knowledge about that fiction. Jadi kalau ingin menggunakan storytelling sebagai salah satu program nanti di sekolah, oke. Okay. Tapi harus ngerti dulu tentang how to understand fiction. Ya. Yeah. Bagaimana memahami fiksi itu. Nah, nanti post portrait reading and storytelling activities must be based on understanding. Without understanding, the poetry reading and storytelling activities would be very dry would be very uninteresting. Okay. Well, because the internalization of the response, the how you, how the students feel the story, the ideas in their mind when they read the poetry or when they tell the story would left behind, far away. Yeah. Jadi, kegunaan memahami cerita atau puisi ketika kegiatan membaca puisi atau storytelling itu adalah membantu penghayatan. Gitu. Membantu penghayatan. Storytelling is not just telling a story, but it's a kind of dramatization of a story by a single person. Nah, itu bedanya ya. Jadi bagaimana mendramatisasi sebuah cerita tapi hanya oleh satu orang. Itu storytelling. Jadi bukan hanya membaca kayak pembaca berita di televisi, itu bukan. bukan. Ya, storytelling itu harus ada misalnya voice characterization. Jadi suaranya harus berbeda-beda. Ya, misalnya dalam cerita itu, misalnya nanti ya dalam cerita ini, di Old Penance itu ada dua tokoh ya, yang utama. Ya, di situ ada Santiago, ada Manolin. Manolin itu anak kecil. Nah, Santiago ini lagi-lagi yang sudah apa sudah cukup usianya tentu ketika menyampaikan suara Manolin dan suara Santiago you must produce different sounds different voices ini suaranya beda jangan one morning Santiago woke up and was very surprised and he told Manolin hey Manolin what what's 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 up with me what happens with me I'm confused. And then Manolin answers, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Itu suaranya sama. And that is not real. That's not the way how you do a storytelling activity. There should be difference in the voice of Santiago and the voice of Manolin because they are different in age. Santiago is old. Manolin is child, so the voices are different. That's an example of how to do a storytelling activity. Okay? So this is not just reading a story, no. It's a kind of dramatizing a story, a fiction. Okay, by the way, how far have you got with your project? Sudah sejauh mana nih projectnya? Tia Kurniati. Halo Tia. Are you still here? Ini Tia, biasanya kesulitan. Yes, sir. How, how far have you got this your project? Sudah sejauh mana projectnya? Sorry, sir. How far have you got this your project of what we're reading or storytelling in the school? Oh, um, we still uh, make the prepare for the school and Maybe for tomorrow we will uh, get the permission letter okay. from the TU and 
we will uh, give it for the school. Okay, but after uh, taking part in the lecture today, you have a better preparation, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, you at least you understand how to teach poetry to the students here in the school, right? Sorry, sir. At least after under, after following this lecture, you would be able to talk to the students in the school about how to perform a poetry reading activity. Is it right? Yes, uh, we will uh, give the poetry material for the students. Before they read the poetry. Okay. Yeah, of course. So explain the poetry first. What's, what kind of feeling they should develop when reading the poetry, okay. including also how to illustrate the situation of the poetry uh, creation. Okay. Okay, thank you, Tia. Well, yes, I think um, the other students also have the same preparation uh, progress, right? Well, I think that's all for this morning. Okay. See you next week. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.